Welcome back to another Mind Test Mod Review. Today we are looking at the online shop mod. And as you can see, it adds some chest looking shopping servers here, which we will take a quick look at the craft recipes required. Now this mod does require the use of basic materials and currency. Um, and well, let's start with the shop itself. So to create the online shop, you need the shop, which comes from the currency mod, and you need this uh, motherboard, which I'm not exactly sure what form factor that is. It's not what I'm familiar with. Maybe it's uh, like some small, uh, what do they call those? Where it's not a computer, a, um, man, I'm making a fool of myself like a Raspberry Pi. What do they call those? The small single board there's some name for it. anyway whatever it's called um so that is crafted with copper some green dye and plastic fiberglass and plastic fiberglass is made with molten plastic and molten glass molten glass is made from glass shards which are made by mixing glass which isn't there ready vessels has glass fragments which can be made by mixing two glass cups or vessels wonder why they didn't just use that oh well um uh then the molten uh wait i need the uh molten plastic is made from cooking a plastic sheet which you get from basic materials from unprocessed paraffin which you get from oil extract which you get from leaves so kind of a uh a long <laughs> recipe to get the shop. I don't know why I retyped that in when it was already there. But once you have it, you can place it in the world, as I have done here, as single player did over here, and as my good friend Bob did over here. Hey Bob, can you say something to the peoples watching watching the video? Yo guys, what's up? Let me out of here! He's got me trapped! Oh shut up, Bob! Keep your mouth quiet! Oh, I did actually ask you to talk and say something, but that that's more than enough talking. Stop. Stop talking. Let, let me find some more No, I don't have any duct tape left. I used it all. Well just just be quiet over there, Bob. Just just be quiet, okay? I have to cut this out now. Alright, so back on back on target. What was that? What was that? Oh yeah, so you can play Season World. And then um I don't want it being dark. And then you can you can open them up, you know, and you can uh, you can interface with them like you would a lot of other shop mods. So you have your um, your inventories here of what customers paid you, the items you are looking for, what you will essentially what you're essentially selling, what you're taking as um, payment, and then this is your inventory of stuff you're selling. So you can see here I have a um, it's just called a multi shop, and it's a money exchange. So you can you can exchange your eleven measly mine guild notes for one bright shiny crisp ten ten mine guild note. I was gonna call it a ten dollar mine guild note, but they're not dollars. They're mine guilds. Um, yeah. So I mean that's that's a, that's a it's a great deal. And then I also have uh, you know a couple a couple other little couple other little things here you know. Um, and these shops tell you you know it just says shopping server owned by admin. And uh, we got single players over here. So say we want to buy something from single player, right? Oh, we can't. Let me open up chat so we can see why. You do not own the shop server. Hmm, that's a shame. Well, let me let me go. Let me go see if I can buy something from Bob. Not that I ever want to support you, but you know, let's see. No oh, man, I can't. I can't. Can't get to those either. What a shame. What a shame. Actually, my friends, it's not a shame. That is intentional. So what you do is you just run the command. Oops. Online underscore shopping. And it pulls up this handy dandy little screen. So here we can see that we have a variety of different shops. Um, so I had my multi shop. See right here, I am I'm selling my selling my money for money. Uh, I don't know if it's actually legal to sell money for money. I don't. I mean, for other countries' currency, I know you can buy it, but I don't. Well, anyways, we're not here to dwell on legalities. I mean, I'm definitely not one to talk when I've got a guy duct taped to the radiator in the corner here. Um, yeah, Bob, I'm talking about you. Uh, obviously, you. who else? There's nobody else here. It's you and me, Bob. What a, what a loser. What an absolute loser. Anyway, so he, he made a couple shops. 
We got Bob Shop. Ooh, which this actually brings me back to my multi shop. So let me let, let's let's just keep things in order here, Bob. Not you're not stealing the show, okay? This is my show. I run it my way. So I have my multi shop, which as you can see, I have um I have six of them. Oh, I should just point out. So you can call your store name whatever you want. And you can uh, put the same name in several. So all six of these are just called multi-shop. And then um, you have an item label, which uh, here they're telling you that you should use, you know, something about what you're selling and how much you're selling for. I, I just did doodads because I was feeling lazy. But um, yeah, so those are all grouped together handily. So we have shops, multi-shop, and then we have items sold, which again... If I had named these better, it would make more sense, but it doesn't matter because I left them all empty anyways. But So we have the money exchange, and we have stones because I really need stones. And here you can see I am, um, I want two stones, and I'll give you four stones. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's a great deal, man. And if you want to buy things, sorry, I'm all out of things. Stuff, yeah, I don't have any stuff. Sorry, dude, and, uh, I'm, all, I'm fresh out of get doodads. Uh, gizmo, oh, man, I just sold my last gizmo just the other day. Fresh out of gizmos. Sorry, man, I, I wish I had some gizmos and doodads and stuff and things, but <laughs> fresh out of all that. Um, I suppose I really should explain how to how to buy some of this stuff. So let's just, uh, let's just grab some stone real quick. I don't know why I'm even buying stuff when I have creative, but, you know, or I have give. Uh, anyways, let's pull up the online shopping interface again. Okay, here we go. Um, no, I want to buy for myself. That way I don't lose my money. All right, so I'll put, uh, I'll put 10 in here. Let me just click the big exchange button. And you'll see here I lose two. Well, I don't lose, but I pay them, and then I get four. So I can keep doing that, and then it'll give me a message saying you do not have enough of what the owner wants, which obviously, yes, that makes sense. And then let's take a look at my stones shop, if I could remember which shop it was. That is one slight annoyance here, which I should mention. Um, they all just say shopping server owned by admin. It would be neat if they could put the item label in the info text. So you'd at least have an idea of what you put in there. But not to worry, because, I mean, it still would be cool, but there's also this that you can do, which um, you may have already noticed. There's a big manage button here. Any of the shops that are mine, I can manage from this interface. Um, the stone one, which was placed by single player, as it says down here, I don't get the option to manage. But so I can go to my own shop here, go to stones. I can manage it, and then I pull up the inventory as if I had right clicked on that server and I can see that I have taken in 10 stones and I still have some stone left so I'll go ahead and put some more stone in uh, yeah sure why not and then finishing just takes us back to here so we can uh, we can go ahead and we look at Bob's shop here he has cheap stone he wants one stone and I'll give you 10 stone not a bad deal not a bad deal he also has expensive stone where he wants 10 stone and he'll give you one stone admittedly that's it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey, Bob. I think that might be price gouging. I mean, I guess you do you, but that, that kind of seems like it's a little bit of price gouging. Uh, and again, we see the shop owner down here. And then Bobby Boy. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> That's also owned by Bob. <laughs> what, what a goofball. Oh, okay. He's selling ferns here. Um, Yeah, he is selling ferns for red mushrooms. Okay. Multi-shop. We already looked at the multi-shop, you know. Oh, admin shop. Oh, wait. Bob. Are you serious, Bob? Dude, you're not you, you can't sell admin stuff. Also, blueberries? Seriously? That's not admin stuff. Like literally anybody can get blueberries. And you want blueberry bush saplings, but you already have the blueberries? Dude, seriously? That's a terrible deal. Um, I, I would buy some. Just because of what I'm gonna do next, but I I'm fresh out of blueberry saplings, so I can't. So, say you have a player, such as Bob over here, duct taped to the radiator in the corner, um, and he, he's making shops that shouldn't exist. And, and not to worry, my friends, as long as you're the admin, or you have the proper admin privileges, um, which I believe, grant me online shop admin. Yes, that is a correct one. All right, so now we can, now we can do this. We can pull back up our online shopping, and we can look at the admin shop. And we can still see it's the same. Okay, whatever, sure. Um, we can now 
interface with people shops directly. You don't get the manage button on the online shopping, but you can interface with them this way. So you can steal people's stuff and take stuff and change names. So for example, Bob, I'm not letting you call that an admin shop. So we're just, we're just gonna call this to um, not admin shop and not admin stuffs. And we'll just, we'll just finish it up. And it's still owned by Bob, so Bob can still go back in there to replenish. And wow, he's actually got a lot of blueberries. Wow. Um, but anyways, yeah, he can he can still access it and all that good stuff. But you know what? I'm feeling kind of fed up with Bob. He's kind of being a jerk. He's giving me mean looks as best he can with his face wrapped up in duct tape. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna do it. Uh, but I don't remember what the command was. So I'm gonna have to pull up the help online shop. And we have an option here to, oh, I don't want to do that one. Do I? No. I want to manage shops. That's what the command is. All right, so we will just run the manage shops command here. And this is only available to anybody who has that online shops admin interface or uh, privilege. And so here we can see all of the different shops. And uh, interestingly enough, so I had those six multi shops over there that's only listed once because it's one shop. Um, but we want to take this not admin shop and I'm just going to click this delete button. But before I do that, let me um, let me reposition the camera so we can see what's going to happen. All right. So not admin shop. Yeah. Boom. Gong. Um, interestingly enough, I get a chat message saying your shop has been deleted by an admin, but it wasn't my shop. Yeah, tough luck, Bob. I mean, I don't know what you were thinking, dude. It was a bad idea. So I should probably mention that too, that um, it sends that chat message to everybody. But, uh, but, let, but, but let's do this now. Just, uh, I'm actually a little unsure of what will happen. So we're gonna go to the multi-shop here and I'm gonna delete. Ooh, it deleted all six of them. Oh, and I could have given a reason. Uh, well, you know what? Cause I get to see all of the things anyways. I'm gonna put a reason in here. Bob is a jerk. I'm going to delete Bobby boy. Wait. That's weird. Let's try that again. Bob is a jerk. There we go. Oh, well now this is interesting. You can't see this, but I'm looking at a Bobby boy's computer over here. And he gets the chat message, your shop Bobby Boy has been deleted by an admin. Reason for deletion, Bob is a jerk. And here I just get a message saying, successfully deleted the shop Bobby Boy. So that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, you can update all. I don't know what update all really does. I'm assuming it's something if things get wonky, so you can like refresh everything so the shops all repulling the data in case somehow one of them is not loaded correctly or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and let's look at the other couple things. I won't do any of these, but so you can just delete all shops outright owned by a player. So I could just do delete player shops, Bob, and every single one of his shops, no matter what it was called, boom, gone. But that would be a terrible thing to do. Uh, my shops will just list all of your own shops, which... I can't really run because I deleted all my shops. Uh, online shop ban. You can prevent players from placing the nodes by, um, by banning them. And again, you have to have the uh, admin online shop privilege to run these. Uh, and then everybody can, of course, do the online shopping to put the interface to do it. And then you can do online shop unban to allow players to place them. And you can show player shops for a specific player. So if I do that... Show player shops, Bob. He owns the following shops, Bob's shop, but it doesn't pull up the interface. All right, well, you know. And I didn't say it would, it just said it would show me what they were. So I think that that covers all of it. Um, so, so yeah. So what you can do, of course, I deleted mine, so I, I can't see it anymore. You can, uh, you know, stash all of these wherever you want to stash them in a basement or something in your house and just, you know, go in there to 
and actually you don't even have to go in there because when you do the online shopping and it's your own shop, you can manage it and you can get this screen right here without ever being, even being near it. So you could, you could place these things, you know, something like, something like this. Well, let me just get some raw quick. You could literally do this if you wanted because you don't actually need physical access to these shops. So you very literally could just build a giant cube of shops like so. I have absolutely no access to the middle one or the one on the bottom. And I could still, of course, they have to be named first because right now I believe if we do this, online shopping, um, yeah, they're not listed because they don't have names. So you do need to do that beforehand, but once you have them listed and named, you never need to touch them again, which admittedly is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, I think that that wraps this, this mod review up. I didn't forget anything. Did I Bob? No, no. Uh, wink once if I did. Okay, well, he winked seven times, so I guess I didn't forget anything. Or maybe he meant I forgot seven things. I'm not I'm not really sure. Anyway, that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Just to clarify, there is nobody duct taped to a radiator in the corner, okay? I'm, I'm pretty sure that was obvious, but just to make sure that no nut job out there thinks I actually duct taped somebody to a radiator and gave them a computer so they could place four nodes in the game, it was a joke. There is no... Buddy duct tape to a radiator. There is no radiator. There's no duct tape. Tune in next week for another mod review, and I will see you then.